Number 32, in this figure over here, a cube of edge length A sits with one corner at the origin of an XYZ coordinate system. A body diagonal is a line that extends from one corner to another through the center. I just paid a, paste a, a image of a body diagonal here, so it's easier for you to see what is a, a body diagonal. In unit vector notation, what is the body diagonal that extends from the corner at coordinates 0, 0, 0, B, uh, coordinates A0, 0, C0, A0, and D0, 0, A0? A0. Letter E determine the angles that the body diagonal make with the adjacent edges. Letter F determine the length of the body diagonals in terms of A. Okay, so the first body diagonal that we have to calculate is the one that leaves the origin and hits this point over here. Okay, so this is the vector that we want. The only thing that we need is the final point and the initial point. The final point, it is, let's see, plus a in the y direction, plus a in the x direction, and plus a in the z direction. So let's call it vec uh, a point, right? Not a vector. Let's see, that is a point, a, a, a. So, and the initial point is point zero, zero, zero. So we have to build the, a vector from those two points. And how we do that, we just uh, just subtract the, f the final point from the initial point. So it is a minus zero, this is a, in the i direction, plus a minus zero in the j direction, plus a minus zero in the k direction. So let's call it our vector a. Our vector a is equal to a in the i direction, plus a in the j direction, plus a in the k direction, and that's already the answer of the first question. Letter B. For letter B, we want to start from, let's see, starts from x equals to a. So it starts from this point over here, so the, the, the final point is that over there. So the final point, it is, let's say, it is zero in the x coordinate, it is a in the y coordinate, it is a in the z coordinate. So this is the final point. The initial point is the one given here. So the initial point is equal to a, zero, and zero. So our vector, let's call it vector b, is equal to 0 minus a uh, in the i direction plus a minus 0 in the j direction plus a minus 0 in the k direction. So our, our vector, vector b, is equal to minus a in the i direction plus a in the j direction plus a in the k direction. Okay, so this is the answer of letter B. For letter C, let's see what we have here. Uh, our starting point is 0, A, 0. So it is here, right? So it is here, and the final point is that point over there. So the final point is A. Let's do it in black. The final point is A. 0 and a. And the initial point is a, a 0, a, and 0. So our, our vector, let's call it vector c, is equal to a minus 0 in the i direction plus 0 minus a in the j direction plus a minus 0 in the k direction, which gives us a in the i direction plus minus a, not plus a, minus a in the j direction plus a in the k direction. So this is our vector c. Okay, so letter d. Letter d. 
the, the, our initial point is these points over here. So it's a in the x, a in the y, and zero in the k direction. So our final point is that one. So our final point is zero, zero, a. Our initial point is a, a, zero. So our vector, let's call it vector d, is equal to zero, zero, minus a in the i direction, plus zero minus a in the j direction, plus a minus zero in the k direction. So our vector is minus a in the i direction, minus minus a in the j direction plus a in the k direction so this is our vector d okay so letter e determine the angles uh, that the body diagonals make with the adjacent edges so we are going to do that this only one time but it, the angle is the same for any body uh, diagonal so for example let's take the first one that comes from here to there, right? So this is the first one. And we want to find the angle that this vector makes with this uh, edge over here. So we can see that our red vector is this one over here. So let's write it. Our vector A is equal to A in the I direction plus A in the J direction plus A in the K direction. And this vector over here, this blue vector, let's call it vector, it is a edge. So vector E is equal to A in the K direction, right? So it's A in the K direction. So we are, we are going to use uh, oops, one of the properties of dot product. Let's remember that A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle. So we are going to use this property over here to find the angle. That's what we are going to do. So the dot product between A and E is equal to A squared. So this is this A times this A over here. So it's A squared. The magnitude of A is equal to the square root of a squared plus a squared plus a squared, which is equal to a the square root of three. And what else do we need? The magnitude of b, which is the square root of a squared, which is just a. Now we have everything that we need. So let's isolate the cosine. The cosine of the angle is equal to, to a dot b over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b so this is equal to a squared over a square root of 3 times a so this is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 so we just found that the cosine of the angle is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 so the angle is the cosine to the minus 1 of 1 over the square root of 3 and if you calculate this you would find you would find 54.7 roughly degrees 54.7 degrees so this is the answer of letter E letter F determine the length of the body diagonals in terms of A we already done that. This is the so, okay. So this is wrong. This is a, and this is z e over here. So we already done that. This is the magnitude of of a body diagonal, which is this value over here. So if you just want to write it, the magnitude of vector a or vector b or vector c, they are all the same. They are equal to a square root of three. Just don't make any confusion be between the vector a and the length a. Okay, we just called it vector a because it is the first vector. It's not the same thing. This a and this a over here. And this is the answer of this exercise.